Hi friends, welcome to GMK Tutorials. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about the fluid model. Okay, so before going into the topic, so please subscribe our channel. Still, if you are not subscribing, so please like and share to your friends also. Okay, so thank you for watching GMK Tutorials up to now. So thanks a lot. So let us move on to the topic. So today's topic is nothing but fluid model. It is one of the uh, topic in case of the VLSA where low power systems concepts so let us see the so the operation of the fluid model is fluid model so the operation of the operation of the mass transistor can be analyzed by using a suitable analytical techniques which will give us which will require mathematical equation and all those things so that means so uh, if you want to analyze the mass transistor characteristics or operation of the mass transistor we need a some mathematical analysis is required as well as uh, we need a some basic uh, knowledge on the basic knowledge on the uh, physical device also so then only it is possible to analyze the corresponding characteristics of the fluid model but if you go for sometimes it is possible to understand the behavioral of the model without knowing any mathematical background as well as the basic characteristics of the device that is nothing but physical characteristics of the device as well as without any mathematical background also we can analyze the model of the corresponding mass transistor so let us see uh, how we are going to analyze this one so this is our circuit diagram for this is a diagrammatic representation for a, a mass capacitor this is a fluid model representation so so this is a right so this is a uh, voltage applied across the applied across the corresponding polysilicon material so due to that there is a, some negative charge carriers are accumulated under the gate terminal this is a gate terminal i should therefore these electrons are stored in the corresponding location this is generally called it's like a container right if you are taking a p type as a substrate so this can be represented in this uh, diagrammatic format so this is nothing but a fluid so the charge can be treated in the fluid in case of the fluid model okay so this is the interface potential that can be represented in the downward direction so the container depth as well as the shape and the shape of the container shape of the container is decided by is decided by the decided by the applied voltage applied voltage so that is a very important point so let us move on to the next one so in case of the fluid model is a tool which can be used to visualize the behavioral of the devices such as a, like charge control devices that is nothing but such as a mass transistors uh, bbds bucket uh, break grade uh, devices these are all uh, devices can be analyzed with the just if you are visualizing the corresponding behavior of the corresponding model with the help of a fluid model without knowing any characteristics of the device also. so using this model even non technical person as well as uh, very new person also easily understand the operation of the corresponding devices so this model is based on two simple ideas that is nothing but first one is nothing but electrical charge electrical charge is considered as a fluid so we know that generally fluid means that which can be moved from one place to the another place depending upon their levels of the corresponding fluid so here also same thing the charge can be moved from one place to another place depending upon the charge levels in the corresponding regions so as well as second point is nothing but electrical potential electrical potential can be mapped into the geometry of the container electrical potential is mapped into the geometry of the container in which the fluid can move around so these are the very two important points you have to understand in case of the fluid model what is the basic need of fluid model the fluid model is uh, helps to analyze the characteristics of the device without knowing mathematical expression and uh, very deep knowledge on the corresponding physical device characteristics so that is a very important two points in case of the fluid model so let us come on to the mass capacitor so in case of the mass capacitor if you want to analyze the mass transistor 
just before we have to understand the what is the operation of the mass capacitor how the mass capacitor is going to be operated so if you know this basic knowledge then you can extend that topic to the mass transistor so let us see the first one from the basic physics we know that a simple parallel plate capacitor means a uh, two identical two identical metal plates are two identical metal plates are separated by an insulator that is nothing but if you are writing this is a two identical plates these two identical plates are separated by the insulator si what i will consider si what is a insulating layer right so an unmasked capacitor a, a and mass capacitor is realized by a sandwiching of a thin oxide layer between the metal and polysilicon plate on a silicon and a substrate. So let us see here, it is also let us consider it is a polysilicon, polysilicon, this is nothing but a substrate. So it is nothing but a p-type substrate, right? With the help of this, it is a polysilicon, silicon dioxide layer, this is a substrate, silicon substrate. So which forms these three forms a capacitor okay so that is shown in the previous figure as well as as we know that in case of the parallel plate capacitor what happens is that if positive voltage okay if positive voltage is applied to one of the plates it induces the negative voltage on the negative charge on the lower plate in case if you are applying the one positive voltage to the capacitor of the one plate automatically some negative charge will be induced in the lower plate of the corresponding parallel plate capacitor here in case of the mass capacitor what happens is that the positive voltage is applied to the metal or polysilicon plate it will ripple the majority charge carriers of the uh, p type substrate uh, creating a depletion region it is a very important right so if you the positive voltage is applied to the corresponding metal or polysilicon plate uh, therefore the majority charge carries in the p type semiconductor or substrate is creating a rippled and creating a depletion region depletion region means immobile charge carriers right in this case the negative charge carriers will be takes place so here these minority carriers we accumulated under the mass electrode okay whatever the minority charge carriers will be there in case of the p type semiconductor that are accumulated under the mass electrode just like a parallel plate capacitor okay so next point is nothing but based on the fluid model mass electrode generates a pocket in the form of a surface potential in a silicon substrate which can be visualized in the container as well as we know that the shape of the container is also decided by the potential along the silicon surface okay so higher the potential deep, uh, deeper the container that means if the voltage value is higher as well as the container deeper is also increases and more charge can be stored in the corresponding container however the minority carriers present in that region can create a inversion layer okay that creates a inversion layer this changes in the surface potential potential increases the quantity of the charge decreases the positive surface of the potential under the mass electrode it means that if you are still increasing the gate voltage at the corresponding gate terminal of the mass transistor what happens is that more number of negative charge carriers are accumulated under the need under the uh, gate mass electrode therefore this negative charge uh, neutralizes some of the positive voltage across the surface voltage therefore it is also decreases that is a one more point so in the presence of in the presence of inversion chain the surface potential shown it by solid line so that is uh, depicted in the picture the area between the solid line and dashed line shows not only the presence of charge but also amount of charge also the capacity of the bucket is a finite it is depends on the applied electrode voltage that means if the bucket is a some finite volume means uh, that is depends on the applied electrode voltage okay so here it is shown that the charge is sitting on the bottom of the container just like a fluid would stay in the bucket suppose the charge is also like a stored in the bottom of the container also in practice however minority carriers in the inverse layer actually reside directly at the silicon layer that means in case of the beta semiconductor material what happens is that the minority charge carriers are accumulated at the uh, corresponding si to layer reside the surface of the fluid model level in the equilibrium condition it is in the equal condition only if it is not electrons would move under the influence of the potential difference until the constant surface for the surface potential is established so from this model we can conclude that 
amount of charge accumulated on the mass capacitor is proportional to the voltage applied between the plates and the area between the plates okay so that is a very important point okay so let us see some of the analysis uh, with the help of some basic diagram okay so in this case let us see the circuit diagram for this one circuit diagram for this one this is a source this is a drain it is a SiO2 layer this is a polysilicon so gate terminal some positive voltage will be there it is connected to the negative VGS so here what happens is that when the VGS voltage increases more number of electrons are accommodated if more if VGS still is increases more number of electrons are accumulated under the corresponding terminal this is nothing but a substrate actually this complete is generally called a P type P type substrate okay so this is the so moreover in this case also if the positive voltage is applied to the corresponding corresponding capacitor what happens is that generally internally what happens is that what happens is that let us see the so uh, just I will elaborate this concept from here just I will consider only it is a polysilicon so because of you are applying the positive voltage this is nothing but VGS therefore due to this one it is a SiO2 layer SiO2 this is nothing but a polysilicon okay so due to this uh, due to the polarization concept negatives and positive so due to this positive charges whatever the positive electrodes across the positive electrodes across this uh, p-type semiconductor these are p-type this is rippled in this direction moreover in case of the intrinsic semiconductor according to the mass action law np is equal to ni square that means if the poles uh, holes are decreasing means that electrons are increasing therefore more number of electrons are taking place here therefore this uh, positives are replaced with the negatives uh, these all positive charge carriers are moving in the downward direction okay therefore the more number of if, if you are still increasing the vgs voltage is more that means vgs is uh, greater than greater than high that is nothing but vth this vth is nothing but the amount of voltage is required to form the channel between the corresponding source and drive still if you are increasing the vgs voltage more and more what happens is that more number of charge carriers are accumulated here therefore the amount of charge carriers are increases means that more number of current is flowing in the corresponding mass capacitor therefore if the amount of charge carriers are increases means that it stores the maximum amount of current as well as if the voltage is increases means that the container depth is also increased that means the shape is also decided by the supply voltage of the corresponding gate terminal so this is a, a very brief introduction about the mass capacitor i hope this video is very helpful for you thank you for watching gm kitter sir thanks a lot